In today's video, we're covering the 18th largest cryptocurrency project by market cap, and that is SUI. And it has a market cap of over $7 billion. Now, that might seem like a lot, but if you think of the top 10 cryptocurrency projects in the world, they're all over $20 billion in market cap. So it definitely has some time to run. Now, it was created only in 2023. In April of 23 was the ICO, the initial coin offer. Offering. And then May 3rd of 2023 is when the project went live. That is when the mainnet was launched. In cryptocurrency terms, when they speak about projects, mainnets being launched, that just means that the blockchain is live in all its intents and purposes. Whereas when it's in a test net, that is the phase before when it's just in a testing phase of the actual blockchain. So who the heck created this crypto and how did it become one of the most successful cryptos in the world in just a couple of years? So it was created by Mistin Labs, whose founders are actually former engineers from Meta, the parent company of Facebook, and they were actually the ones working on Facebook's Libra project. Now, for those of you that know, Libra never got off the ground, but a lot of people were excited about Facebook's project that was coming to crypto. So they built SUI using the programming language called Move, which is really interesting because it was originally designed for DM, which is the blockchain division that a lot of these engineers left at Meta. And the takeaway there is that a lot of the funding for this project, it seems like the research, the development occurred at Meta. So it actually saved a bit of the investors from investing a bunch of money for the R&D because some of it was created during the whole Libra project. So what is SUI? It is a layer one blockchain, like so many other layer one solutions out there. The whole point of layer ones is to create a very secure and fast blockchain where then you can build on top of it with decentralized apps, NFTs, DeFi. Now it is highly scalable. It has low transaction fees and it has one of the fastest transactions out of all the blockchains. It is actually faster than Solana, and I will dive into the nitty and gritty of that later on in the video. It is optimized for dApps, that's decentralized apps. It does have a really strong focus on GameFi. A lot of people think that it's gonna win out in that space. And also important to know is that SUI helped to sponsor Trump's inauguration. And this is important because in America, it is a very pro crypto environment and the crypto projects that were very kind to Trump's administration or inauguration, those are the ones that are likely to get rewarded before any of the other ones do. Also important to mention is that SUI is considered an American made crypto. Now, SUI is definitely a Solana competitor, but I do have to say, if you take a look at the usage metrics and the on-chain growth, there's nothing really to write home about. It's not extremely impressive. It is a newer project though. And we also do have to mention that it is not a classically decentralized project. It's definitely very centralized in some ways, but as I've mentioned in past videos, this is what helps it to be a lot more fast. Although the decentralization aspect suffers, you're able to really speed things up. And that is why other blockchain projects that are extremely decentralized like Bitcoin, it's also extremely slow. So let's now take a deep dive into the actual tokenomics of SUI. So SUI definitely has a competitive advantage when it comes to transactions per second and the finality of those transactions when it comes to something like Solana. But the reason is it's a heavily centralized project. Now this helps it be very, very fast, obviously, but there's also a tremendous amount of centralization concerns because there really is one point of failure and decentralization is at the ethos and heart of crypto. And so some are concerned about that. Now, if you're curious how SUI is faster than Solana, well, it's because of parallel processing. I don't want to make this video too complicated, but if you're interested, I highly recommend that you look into the parallel execution model and Narwhal and Bullshark consensus, and that way you could truly understand how they achieve sub-second finality. It basically scales horizontally by leveraging more validators without a bottleneck, whereas Solana's design requires high-performance 
its validators with very expensive hardware. And the instant finality of some transactions occurs because simple transactions don't even need full consensus and can be confirmed almost immediately. Now let's discuss the tokenomics of SUI and I'll explain why the maximum supply is 10 billion SUI while the circulating supply today is only 3.16 billion SUI but it's important to refresh the purpose of the SUI token and that is for gas fees so it's used to pay transaction fees on the SUI network. Obviously users can also stake SUI to support validators and earn rewards. Staking rewards works the same across many of these crypto projects. There's also governance benefits benefits where token holders can vote on network upgrades and policies and also obviously a lot of people buy and hold SUI so that they can gain a profit from price appreciation because many think that in this bull cycle or the next SUI could totally hit 20 30 40 dollars per SUI. So SUI follows a gradual unlock mechanism to release its 10 billion SUI total supply over time and this system prevents market flooding while ensuring fair distribution across across various stakeholders because remember if you go ahead and you just release a tremendous amount of SUI that is going to not bode well for supply and demand dynamics and the price will most likely tank. Now something that I want to show here and you could pause your screen if you'd like to see it is the unlock schedule. So initially the SUI tokens were divided into several categories each with different unlock schedules. So you had community and grants which made up 50% that's reserved for ecosystem growth, developer incentives, and community programs. And then 20% went to early investors and core contributors. 10% is used to incentivize validators and stakers. So that's designated for staking rewards. And then the other 20% is for the treasury and reserves. And this is basically held by the SUI Foundation for future development. Whenever you're doing research on the tokenomics of a project, it's extremely important to figure out why the maximum supply total supply and the circulating supply is what it is and you also would want to read into the tokenomics to understand at what point in time will the circulating supply actually be close to the maximum supply because that way you know that the circulating supply isn't going to be diluted and the actual investors the price of these tokens are less likely to be diluted and supply and demand will work in their favor if the circulating supply is already close to the maximum supply we're obviously not there with SUI but it's also an early project again if you take a look at the all time the chart over here doesn't even go before May 2023 so it's still relatively new and people are very bullish on it because even though you see here that it at one point spiked all the way up to five dollars and 35 cents that was the all-time high it came January 6th of 2025 so just two months ago as of the filming of this video and right now it's sitting at a nice discount from there at just about two dollars and 26 cents so we'll see what happens in the future with this project so it is pretty new and that's the trade-off that there is is that although a ton more will enter the circulating supply there's also probably not a tremendous amount of investors in the SUI token quite yet because it's so new and in some ways unproven now, if we take a look at what SUI has been doing compared to Bitcoin percentage wise, you could see that SUI totally outperformed Bitcoin in the past year, especially when it came to January. But who knows what the future has in store? But I highly recommend that you utilize this feature on CoinMarketCap where you can compare any price action of any crypto versus Bitcoin or any other crypto as well. And it's really, really helpful to see percentage wise what they did and what the difference was. You can also see if it follows it really closely or if it has really independent movements. And here we can see that yes, it does follow Bitcoin in some ways. When Bitcoin goes up, it goes up as well. When it goes down, it trends downwards as well. But you could see that it's magnified quite a lot. And I believe SUI, because it is a newer project, it is definitely going to be really interesting to see what happens from here on out because it could be one of these rare cryptos that has its own trending pattern and doesn't just follow the trends of Bitcoin which most other cryptos do. So I personally did acquire some SUI at around $2.10. It wasn't a tremendous amount, it was a couple of thousand dollars worth but I do plan to hold it long term and see what happens with this project but before I buy any more even if there are price 
steps. I do want to see how adoption is trending. I also want to pay attention to all the current events and the new happenings that are happening in the SUI ecosystem, new partnerships and such, and see if it is really going to start taking market share away from some of these other blockchain projects like Solana, which is a direct competitor to SUI. With that being said, I do appreciate you guys for watching this video in its entirety. I'm curious, do you hold SUI? What do you think of the project? Do you think that it's something that has a lot of potential or it's a bunch of hogwash and it's going to be one of these watered down blockchains that just fades into obscurity as the years go on? I'd love to hear from the rest of you. And if you're interested in me covering a topic or a project in crypto, please mention in the comment section and hopefully I'll see some of you in the next video.